We are back at SEMA 2024. I'm joined here with Nick in the Mickey Thompson outdoor booth, right? You guys have two booths this time? Yes, we do. We have this one outside of South Hall, and we also have our street and race products that are inside the middle of Central Hall. Something that we don't typically talk about on this channel are wheels, and you guys have something pretty exciting. I know that the retro lineup kind of ended a few years back, but it looks like you guys are kind of bringing it back. So can you go ahead and show us what you got right now and then what you guys are introducing? Absolutely, love to show you what we all have. So I'm sure a lot of our consumers have, know that about our classic line of wheels, such as the Classic 3 in black and polished aluminum finishes, along with our classic Baja Lock and Sidebiter 2, which we've had for a good amount of time. Their signature Mickey Thompson styles, Mickey Thompson finishing, and the Mickey Thompson look. Now to add on top of that, we're actually debuting eight new wheel lines here at SEMA this year. I'll start with this one right here in the middle. This is what we call our MT Open 5. Uh, we actually won runner up for best new wheel and related products. So this is our modern take of five spoke wheel um, available in a satin black finish, a sleek modern look with a push and style center cap. Fun fact, the design that was actually of the center cap is actually inspired by, by our Baja Boss AT. So it pairs well with our Baja Boss AT tires. We got available in 15, and 17, 18 and 20 inch fitments for light trucks and SUVs and Jeeps. Uh, below this is another five spoke wheel. So this is our Canyon wheel, which is actually inspired by one of our classic designs that we had a long time ago. We modernize it up um, for 15, 16s and 17s. Uh, most importantly, we have special fitments such as 15 by 12 and 16 by 12 in this finish. Um, fitments mirror our classic three wheels, but again, a modern take of a classic Mickey Thompson design that we had and a full polished aluminum finish. We're moving over to our other wheels, we have two more wheel lines. So first is our Canyon Pro that we have, similar to what we just showed with our Canyon, um, in different sizes, 17s, 18s, and 20s. What these feature is a tough simulated bead lock for that for ultimate street style and ultimate street performance. Modern sizes and fitments for light trucks, SUVs, uh, three quarter one and one ton single rear wheel fitments, along with three different finish. We have our polished aluminum on the bottom. We have our satin black, similar to what we saw with the open five uh, before. And first for us is a, is a bronze finish with a satin black rim. All these do feature zinc bolts as well. Then the last wheel finish that we have is our Classic Pro wheel, which similar to our Classic 3, but also features a simulated beadlock in similar finishes um, with polished aluminum, satin black, and, and matte bronze. And same, and same wheel sizes, 17s, 18s, and 20 inch diameters. Uh, and the cool part about these, we're bringing back some bolt patterns that we haven't had in quite a while, such as six on 135 for F-150s, six on 120s for Colorado Canyons, five on 150 for Tundra owners, and eight on 180 for the modern GM trucks. Eight lugs have a higher load rating of about of over 3,700 pounds to accommodate for your heavier tires, heavier loaded vehicles, uh, but again, 17 by 9, 18 by 9, and 20 by 9s for Jeeps and Jeeps and light trucks. I don't mean to interrupt you, but real quick, can we talk about the Canyon Pros that are on this Camaro? Uh, it's a pretty crazy Camaro. It's lifted about, I don't know, maybe 12 inches off the ground. Actually, probably a little bit more than that. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, I can know some of the basics about it. So as far as the wheels and tires, it's featuring our Canyon Pro polished wheels, um, some 17 by 9s uh, with a 265, 7017 Boss AT, so a 32 inch tall tire. Um, with the vehicle itself, it, it's been restomotted uh, with a LS3 engine, um, a 4L60E, and a four and a four nine inch rear end. Features one off matte blue paint and a one off custom TMI interior. This actually is a, does have a hard top, but the, the builders didn't had didn't have the time to bring the hard top. So you can put the roof on or roof off, roof off. It's ready for SEMA. Uh, the SEMA crunch is real. I know I know the feeling all too well. So beautiful car, very well done. It's one of those cars that's like very interesting to look at because it's so so out there right absolutely it looks like it's got painted or coated, coated bumpers in the rear with billet trim rings around the rear lights and it, it's all blacked out so beautiful beautiful car absolutely another fact with this is that the builders actually had to extend the quarters on the rear three inches to accommodate the 32 inch oh, yeah, tall tires definitely see it right here absolutely a lot of custom work went to this and it's been getting a lot of attention drawing a lot of eyes to it so they did a bang up job on this and a fantastic build 
All right, All one right. other vehicle that we got here at SEMA is actually a Ford Bronco that's been heavily modified uh, by Anderson Composites. Uh, they are a carbon fiber company, so this vehicle is actually featuring their carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber fender flares, and most most importantly, their carbon fiber, fiber open doors. So it creates a stunning look and a stunning visual. As far as the wheels and tires, um, this features for the wheels. One of our new ones are our classic Pro in black. This is a 17 by nine with a zero offset wheel. The tires is our Baja Boss XS that we debuted at SEMA last year. Um, they're more of a performance version of our Boss MT. It's 37, 12 and a half, 17. This specific Boss has our Power Ply Pro four ply sidewall but it's still a dot approved tire that gives a good smooth ride down the road other than that it has a bds suspension lift kit along with fox shocks on it it kind of sucks if you're in the desert though don't you just kind of funnel out of that sand in here <laughs> it, i'm not sure about the sand i know it can get a little bit windy but again the look is just like nothing else out there and the doors are incredibly light oh i bet you mentioned something about the hood Yep, this is also an Anderson Composite hood, um, how we got the custom carbon fiber here on the end. So a fully carbon fiber hood, along with some of the venting to let extra air out to keep that engine nice and cool. Really cool. From far away, it kind of looks like a stock Bronco, and the closer you get, the crazier it kind of becomes. <laughs> hey, sometimes that stealthy, stealthy look sneaks up on a person. All right, a quick question, and it's almost unrelated to the off-road stuff, but do you guys ever plan to expand beyond the 20 inch? Uh, at this point, we just released these within the past month, but we're always listening to product requests and you can never say no to anything in the future. Right, all right. Well, I really appreciate your time. Uh, we're actually closing out SEMA today, so it's getting a little bit more barren, but that just goes to show that it's just been a super busy week. Everybody try to get as much in as much as possible. Actually, Friday is, is a, a different type of day, right? Yeah, so, so Friday is open to the general public, open to consumers, and then at about four o'clock when all the vehicles will start rolling out, um, they'll actually have a parade for all vehicles that can move and they'll go down to Las Vegas Strip and create a very cool sight. Oh, that's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna try to get some video on that. Absolutely. All right, well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for hey, your time. Thank you very much and stand on the gas. All right, thank you.